Episode 14, Yi Tan Hu Lamu Wu Dai confesses to Qing Kue. As soon as Jiao Yaluo walked out of the Zhuixin Palace, he encountered a mocking wind, who said that he had something to ask. Yi Tan Hu slowly took advantage of Lamu to leave the stone house, and they helped Lamu decorate the stone house, but Lamu didn't like it when he came back, and a lot of fire was born in the palm of his hand, and although Yi Tan was wearing Tian Guang silk, she felt really sad in her heart. I was so scared that I ran away. Lamu destroyed all the things that Yetan had arranged just now, then entered the stone room, muttered a few words to himself, and walked into a place full of flames. When Xiao Dian Yuqin's spiritual consciousness just came down from the heaven, it fell into the water, and when he got up, he saw a human child. The child was very kind to him, and the two quickly became friends, but when the mountain fire broke out, the child was burned to death, so the villagers believed that Lamu was a fire demon. Lamu is not very good at explaining for himself. Since then, he has been mistaken for a fire demon. In fact, in order to extinguish the fire, Lamu absorbs the fire with himself to protect the villagers of Yuawa village from being swallowed by the mountain fire. Yi Tanha slowly observed Lamu secretly not far away, and found that he was watching the children playing and it was obvious that he really wanted to get close to people. Di Lanjua, Qing Heng, and Ziwu went to look for the whereabouts of the other gods, but they returned in vain. Di Lanjua was stabbed in the hand, and Ziwu took the initiative to give him the medicine. Qing Heng is very puzzled, why Ziwu treats Di Lanjua so well, Ziwu just thinks that Di Lanjua is very similar to the puppy A Kai she picked up back then, so she can't help but protect him. Yi Tan suddenly thought that maybe wine could be used to put out the fire for Lamu. Jiao Luluo went to see Princess Li and told about the fact that Xiaofeng and Qingkui set up a medical clinic in Zhuixin Hall. Princess Li immediately ordered to arrest Xiaofeng and Qingkui, and the two were taken to Finyuan Hall for accountability. King Li was furious at them for their unauthorized medical treatment, and Princess Li also said that she would deprive Xiao Feng of all her official positions and be imprisoned for life. Concubine Xue and Jia Liuyuo stepped forward to intercede for Xiao Feng and Qingkui successively. The wizard Xiang Lu followed closely, and other ministers echoed. Finally, King Li accepted the advice and abolished the order to practice medicine. Princess Li gritted her teeth. She was naturally resentful that she failed to achieve her goal, Yetan's method worked, Lamu really likes to drink, and she also put some medicine in the wine to make Lamu less angry. When the villagers heard what the other four people said, they immediately went back to the village and called the village head and villagers. After Lamu drank, his stomach hurts after a while, and the villagers showed up one after another to arrest him. Yetan stood in front, and Lamu hid in the stone house. Yetan tried her best to maintain it, and finally she made the villagers stop temporarily with compromise and compensation. Compensation for the loss of the entire village is not a small amount. Yi Tan thought of going to the palace to find money. But Qing Heng and Zi Wu could do nothing if they stayed here. The two of them might as well go find other divine senses and slowly protect Di Longjue and Yi Tan. Taking advantage of the night, Yi Tan sneaked into the palace and took a lot of gold and silver jewelry. She also saw the chess in the box, which was made by her. She wanted to give it to her father as a gift, but her father's attitude was not at that time. Guan Qi, so Yi Tan felt that he must think it was made by Qing Kue, so he kept it. Yetan gave all the gold and silver jewelry stolen from the palace to the village head of Yuawa village and only then forced the villagers of Yuawa village to stop resisting Lamu. Lamu saw what she did. After the ban on medical treatment was abolished, more and more people came to Zhuixin Hall to seek medical treatment, and they never refused. His Highness Wu Dai sent some animal furs to Qing Kuei and confessed to her in public.